Today, we will be talking about water on Earth and how it is distributed. Please open your LearnEd Hydrosphere Notebook to page six, as today we will be covering pages six, seven, and eight together. So please fill in the notes as I go over them with you. Water, also known as H2O, is the most common compound on Earth. It is made of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Earth's supply of water remains constant and is cycled again and again throughout the hydrosphere in a process known as the water cycle. During the water cycle, water is evaporated from lakes, rivers, streams, and oceans. And as water moves higher into the atmosphere, it cools and condenses to form clouds. Water that falls back to Earth as rain, snow, sleet, or hail is called precipitation. Precipitation that filters through the soil becomes groundwater. Groundwater is often stored in large, permeable, underground rock layers called aquifers. Humans can drill into aquifers and use it as a source of potable water. Precipitation that does not filter through the ground runs off through watersheds and fills bodies of water, and the water cycle starts all over again. The water cycle often occurs over a river basin. A river basin contains all of the land that is drained by a river and its branches. The southeast contains many river basins that are all separated by higher land such as hills, mountains, or barriers. Research the events of the water cycle and then complete the chart on page seven. You may pause this video while you are completing the chart on page seven. The water cycle should be a review. We know that water collects in collection areas such as this lake. Heat from the sun causes water at the surface to evaporate into the form of a gas. Plants have moisture evaporating from their leaves, which is called transpiration. All of these water molecules collect in the form of clouds where they condense. Precipitation falls, and we know that some of the water enters the ground directly, some of it runs off into a collection area and the cycle starts all over again. On your chart, you should have filled in the following terms, sublimation, evaporation, aquifer, precipitation, transpiration, condensation, and runoff. You should also complete the descriptions for each term. Distribution on page eight. Earth's water is distributed into fresh water and salt water. Fresh water does not contain any dissolved salts or minerals and has no taste or smell. Salt water contains dissolved salts and minerals. Salinity refers to the amount of salt contained within a solution. In a solution, water is the solvent and salt is the solute. Solvent does the dissolving, solute gets dissolved. 71% of our planet is covered by water and 29 is covered by land. Of all Earth's water, 97% is salt water and 3% is fresh water. If only Earth's fresh water, 77, I'm sorry, of only Earth's fresh water, 77% is frozen. That means it's locked up in ice caps and glaciers. 23% is liquid, usable as liquid water and atmosphere, lakes, rivers, streams, groundwater, and aquifers. Tomorrow, or the next class, we will talk about water treatment. Thank you, and have a good day.